Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Well, the renaissance of downtown Fort Wayne just continues to roll on. The city's latest coup, a $30 million boutique hotel designed by Vera Bradley co-founder Barbara Bradley Backgard. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond caught up with the iconic bag designer to get a tour of her latest venture. Nearly 40 years ago, she started a company that continues to bring bright patterned luggage and handbags to the masses. Vera Bradley. Now the genius behind the iconic Vera Bradley line has officially opened downtown Fort Wayne's first boutique hotel. I've lived in Fort Wayne now for over 40 years and we were just missing that element of a city and I didn't think there was anything that really represented who we were. So after retiring as chief creative officer for the Fort Wayne based lifestyle brand in 2017. I think of these things. Mind you, in her late 70s, Barbara Bradley Backer decided it was high time to embark on her 30 year dream to build a hotel that reflected her own home in the heart of downtown. I was in the company every single day for 30 years. 30, and then as we got bigger, and we hired other people to do some of the things that I did, I could get away a little more. So then I started having these other um, ambitions, you know, like why not do it now? And that she did. The Bradley is a $30 million full service boutique hotel that features 124 guest rooms, nine suites, and a host of public spaces, including two restaurants and a rooftop bar. Restaurant oh, is yeah. called Birdies. Yeah. And there's a special reason why it's called Birdies. Well, my grandchildren call me Birdie. My oldest grandson nicknamed me Birdie because I, when he came to my house, I had prints, I fabric bricks and my dinnerware had birds on it. So when they say we're going to grandma's, he'd say, oh, grandma birdie. So it <laughs> stuck. And now I have 12 grandchildren. They all call me birdie. That's kind of the oh, inspiration yeah. here too. You oh yeah, when you come off the elevator here, you see some bird prints, which is really fun. I know it's cute, it's fun. Hey. This is your typical guest room. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I can already see the headboard. That is oh, very yeah. vintage, very proud. That this would be like you're coming into my home and staying in my house. So Thank did you. you personally pick out mm -hmm. what's in each room? I did. You've got great taste, <laughs> I must say. It looks for your brother without screaming your brother. It's more of a wink than a shout. So in terms of color schemes, is it is it a lot of blues? I always say it's blue always works. I said God knew what he was doing. You know. <laughs> Blue works for decor. I don't think there are many people that walk into a blue room and don't think it feels cozy. Yeah, I'm really proud of the bathrooms. The showers are amazing. The hardware on the showers. Yeah. Wouldn't you be pleased to check in here? Yeah. Can I can I punch my tickets? Yeah. Yeah. You can make a reservation. Yeah. Barbara Steen in town. Uh, and her commitment to our city, I think, speaks volumes about her. I've already talked to a number of CEOs who bring in uh, important people to stay in our uh, community for a few days. They're very excited about this new offering. I wanted something that when people were in here, they felt they knew where they were at Fort Wayne. And then when they leave, they have a memory of Fort Wayne. And that's, that was one of my goals. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.